Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Ho here, and today we're going to be starting a new playthrough series. We're going to be playing Star Citizen, fresh off of the account reset for everybody of 3.18. I I'm actually pretty fairly new to Star Citizen, although I've been a supporter of this game for a long time. As many of you know, the game is just hard to play sometimes. And I haven't played it in about a year or so. I've never played it to any great extents like we're about to do here. And uh, I've never even purchased anything beyond a starter ship before. Uh, so here's what we are going to do the, on this video series. Uh, this is going to be basically a first time playthrough of the game. I've dabbled a little bit here and there, maybe done some delivery missions or stuff like that. Uh, so we're, we're gonna try all sorts of missions this time. I'm actually really excited. One of the things that I really want to get into is racing. And I saw that 3.18 is adding in racing. They're going to be you know, adding on to that as we go. Uh, so with the, all the missions, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be one of my big goals is to get a ship where I can load a racing uh, vehicle in it. So in that way I can cart it around. So we're going to explore to see, see what we can do there, see what we can find. Uh, obviously, Try to make as much money as possible as we progress through the game. Get some new ships. I will not be spending any money on this game. Everything will be from the base account, the $45 base account with the Aurora MR is what we're going to be doing. And uh, if you do have any tips as you're watching through these, just make sure to leave a comment. I'll make sure to read them as much as I can. And we'll be making many more videos like this about this game as we're going through this series. So if you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe. So in that way you can get notified for each new video as I go along on this new gaming journey. All right, let's get started into my first day in Star Citizen. As you saw, I had to create a brand new character. And with that, I did choose a destination. Uh, you might have saw that as well. We are going to be going to Loreville. Uh, Loreville is just the only place I have ever set as my spawn before. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, just a journey. Just going to try to figure it out from there. And as you can see here, we are going to the Metro Center. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go to, uh, the Spaceport line, Tisa Spaceport. Got to figure out how to get there, uh, but we'll get there. Coming in, perfect timing. As soon as it gets here, we hop on. But nobody else is on here, so let's just go ahead and uh, take a seat. All right, so getting off of the tram, and looks like we are going to uh, run into a couple of guys that have a good time by standing on some benches. Welcome to Star Citizen. It is an alpha. We found where the ships are. Uh, as you can see, there's a new deal store here. A um, bunch of ships there. If we're going to come in, spend a little bit of time looking through them uh, as we discussed uh, what we want to do is we want to get some new ships uh, that's going to be something that we're going to be focusing on uh, so scrolling through here don't have enough money for any of these um, so I guess that is what that is right um, there's a reclaimer here 15 million that's crazy that's a big ship I found a little racer um, so Racing, like I said, is something that I want to get into. Um, it's definitely what I'm looking for. Uh, this uh, is the ship we're going to be using, the Aurora. I think it's probably a different version of it. 890 jump. Uh, oof, man, getting this one would be crazy. I just don't think I would ever get to the point of getting this large luxury yacht. Uh, we're just going through here, finding a couple things. This looks like a pretty cool little cargo thing. I actually do enjoy running cargo. I've done that before. Um, it's kind of high risk though. That's why I typically will go ahead and stick to my uh, to my delivery missions, right? Um, so, okay, let's go ahead, head back out of here and uh, go to the front spot, the little store area. And uh, look, somebody else is running up here as well. They're coming to get out of here too. So let's go ahead to our fleet manager. We got to manage all of these ships or ship. <laughs> Go ahead, call it on over, and and it gets delivered. So, uh, first step here is to get in the elevator. So we got to call that on over. 
looks like it's already here. So uh, we're in hangar nine, it looks like. So we're here, let's get to uh, hangar nine. Get to our ship. And here we are at our Aurora. Isn't she a beaut? You can get this ship. Comes free with the game when you buy it. Uh, well, one of them. You can get this or the Mustang. This is the cheapest version of the game. $45 um, will get you this ship. So let's go ahead and get in the pilot seat. And uh, honestly, you can buy pretty much all the ships. I, I think most of the ships. Honestly, I don't know what ones you can't. But I'm going to bet most of them you can buy, um, you know, just by grinding out getting some money so you really don't have to spend money on the game unless you really want to uh i'm not trying to spend money on the game i got a game to play a game and i don't want to start from the top i just uh you know i want to grind out so uh tisa spare spaceport uh pretty sure it's supposed to be like tesla i always it's always something that stuck with my mind so uh, we're gonna go ahead here and get out of the atmosphere as fast as we can all right, out of the atmosphere. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up our Moby Glass. We gotta figure out what the heck we are going to be doing here today. So let's go to our contract manager. And uh, cool, we got a delivery mission. I'm familiar with delivery missions. Uh, you know, just pick something up, take it to a spot, drop it off, pretty easy go. Not a big deal there at all. Uh, pretty straightforward I haven't played this game in a while um, but I feel like typically um, there's three packages you pick up or drop off so this one's a little bit different I um, guess I'm not entirely sure why so let's, let's, let's just go over here and get the ship around and uh, try to go find out where we gotta go to get this Now, I couldn't get it to spool. I had no idea why, so I decided to stand up here and check out my ship, make sure everything's okay. And I got a door open. So I don't know if this is the reason why or not, so let's just go ahead and close this and uh, hop back in the pilot seat. Hopefully everything just works a little bit better uh, <laughs> as far as trying to go fast and go far. All right, so let's go ahead and open this back up. And it looks like it's spooling, but it's not calibrating. So I must not be able to jump to this spot. Um, so I guess we gotta find somewhere else to jump to. Hmm. Still not calibrating. All right, let's go, let's try this one. Ah, there we go. Calibration, on set. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, so that was a quick one. We tested it, it works. I'm gonna figure out how the heck to get to this package. Doesn't look like I can go right at it. It looks like it's putting me to one next to it, which is kind of annoying because I don't wanna to have to fly super far, right? But looks like that might be something that we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and quantum travel over here. And we are 121 kilometers away. I don't have anything to lock on to. So let's go ahead and speed this up for you guys. We'll get on over there here pretty quick. All right, 30 away, getting pretty close. Sped that up there again for you a bit. We're under 10,000 away. I'm starting to see some stuff here. I feel like those little, uh, that little thing, it means that there's a ship? Not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and coast on down there and investigate. That's right where I gotta pick up this package. For some reason, I decided to turn my gimbals on. It's kind of figuring some stuff out. There's definitely a Mustang Alpha there. This is looking a lot spicier than something that I wanted to actually do, so not entirely sure. Uh, so I guess my thought here is to slow down a little bit and uh, 
Let's go ahead and just land and walk on over to that. Maybe get a little bit of a distance away if we can. Oh no. It was at this moment that I realized this isn't land at all. I am out in the middle of water. So let's go ahead, we'll zoom over here slowly, try to set this thing down because this looks like land. Uh, let's see if we can get this all sorted out. All right, cool. All right, so we're down. Shut this off. Let's get out. Let's go get this package and get the heck out of here. This is not looking, this is not looking ideal. If I can get this door open. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Definitely a lot of stuff here. Persistence. This is the cool thing about this new update. And you know, I've been following this update on uh on online and just waiting for this one to come out and i was super excited you know persistence it seems so cool obviously it's not quite to where we would want it to be yet oh look a container let's go ahead maybe we can open this and loot something Well then. All right, let's go ahead. We will spawn back at the uh, at the hospital. So that was unfortunate. Did not think that there was somebody there. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's put on our, uh, our spacesuit. Give ourselves a helmet so we can breathe outside again. That was uh, that was a little bit rough. You know, that was definitely definitely a rough go. Uh, we're gonna need a gun. I was not ready for combat there at all, unfortunately, and uh, that's just kind of what happened. So, I mean, oh, not really too much you can do about it. So, just gotta hop back on the saddle and uh, you know keep keep on trucking. So, what we're gonna do here is immediately abandon this mission. I want nothing to do with this delivery mission. This is not a delivery mission that I'm normally used to doing. It was way spicier and I am not ready for that. Bounty hunting, though, this could be fun. Um, I went, I tried to make sure, I'm assuming that this is flying, not, you know, down on a gun. So uh, let's go ahead, we will claim our ship and wait for that to get on over here. And then we can go ahead and start doing some bounty hunting. All right, retrieving. And we are on hangar six. All right, let's go ahead. Hangar six, here we go. We are in the Aurora. Opening up the door, maybe. There it goes. Ladder. Shut the door this time. Learning from mistakes. See that? See that quick learner, huh? I know you guys are proud of me. All right, and the slow walk into the captain's chair. Get this thing fired up and get the heck out of here. Don't ask why I'm upside down. I cut that out of the video because yeah, yeah, just just don't ask. We're just we're just gonna fly here. Like no, everything is normal. Uh, let's go ahead. We will get out of the atmosphere. Uh, man, this game is so pretty. All right, spool some stuff up. Seems to be working fine here. I can go right to where I need to go. So uh, let's go ahead and launch on over there. Okay, we are here. We are in an asteroid field, 15 kilometers away. Turn my crews off. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Got my gimbals on. Hopefully I remember how this works. It's been a while. Probably haven't played this game in a year. Let's go ahead and see if we can't take care of this bounty. There he is. 
See them? We're coming in slow. There's a lot of asteroids. Take our time. Need to make sure that we don't mess this up. Our first bounty mission. Our first mission didn't go very well. We have two of them now. Two of them popping up here. All right. All I see is a little red thing, though. I don't see the guy yet. Um, what do I do? Do I just shoot at him now, or? I gotta get closer. It still says he's, he's like 7,000 meters away, right? So, I guess, uh, we'll speed up a little bit. Let's, let's go ahead, we'll speed up a little bit. Still a ways away. I know I've been taking it careful. But the suspense is killing me. All right, 4,000. Slow down a little bit. Getting close. I don't really see him. It's still his bright, bright red triangle. All right, we're getting close. All right, I don't see the ship still. Oh, missiles. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, he's shooting at me. He's shooting at me. Let me shoot back. Let me shoot back. And the guy ran into me. I exploded on the side of a comet. And it was at that moment that I went back to Lorville. And I got in my medical gown. We woke up. And we ended our first day in Star Citizen. If you enjoyed the video make sure to go ahead click the like helps out a ton subscribe to the channel we'll catch you on the next one hope you guys have a good day thanks